Well, before the one hour and 28 minute rain delay, the Cincinnati Reds just owned it tonight. Eight to one over the San Francisco Giants. Todd Frazier was a big reason that the Reds jumped out to a early lead. They got seven runs between the second and the third. He had a huge night. He sure did. And this Reds offense really struggled in the month of June. Todd Frazier as well. He had no RBIs in his last 11 games, no hits with runners in scoring position in his last 17, but busted out in a big way tonight. A hit with runners in scoring position to get it started, and then a mammoth three-run homer, and the Reds were really off and running early and often against the beat-up Giants team. Would have been interesting to see, had they not scored all those runs, how many runs would Bronson Arroyo have needed Rick Sutcliffe? He wouldn't have needed many. <laughs> you know what? And he's following up what probably was his worst start of the year at Oakland. Four rings. He gave up seven runs. But he has had a lot more success here at home. And he absolutely dominated this Giants lineup tonight. He could have easily gone nine innings. Only gave up a couple of hits. He gave up the solo home run to Brandon Belt. And he, like the rest of the Cincinnati Reds team, loves to play here at Great American Ballpark. He runs his home record to 6-1. and one. The Reds right now are 27 and 14 at home. They just got off a tough road trip. They're ready to play some good baseball. We certainly are. Rain shortened tonight because of all sorts of storms and lightning and thunder. It was a little frightening, actually, so we're getting out of here. Final score 8 to 1 over the San Francisco Giants.